Okay, ready, set, go? All right, okay, let's learn some NLP. Now, the way that I structure this course, or, or which means the, the, the skills and techniques that I teach you and the order of them are the same order that you would have if you're entering uh, a conversation or, or getting an outcome. So the first thing that you would do is, is you think about where, where are you going with this? What is it that you want to do? So we're going to talk about how to create what we call a, a well-formed outcome. Once you've got your outcome, then you're going through uh, a contact with the person or persons. So contact, rapport, information gathering, depending on that information, what you're going to be doing, skills and techniques, okay, you're testing, okay, going back, doing more until you get your outcome. Get the idea? So got your outcome, uh, contact, rapport, information gathering, techniques, blah, 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 okay? So that's how we're going to be learning the skills and techniques in that order, which means first we're going to be learning about well-formed outcomes, then we're going to go through a series of um, rapport exercises because that's naturally what you'd be doing uh, when you're uh, going out achieving goals and outcomes. This is just a little, a little diagram that I found that, that helps me um, organize stuff. So if you think about this is our desired outcome. You've all come here, I hope, with an idea of, of, of what you want to achieve in this course. It could be something for yourself. It could be something uh, professionally or whatever. So you have a desired outcome. And <clears throat> I'm going to set you through uh, a series of procedures to get what is called a well-formed desired outcome. So each one of you are going to think about, okay, what do I want for myself? Uh, I, I find it easy to think about in relationship to this course. It could be something at home, you know, with the kids or at the office or whatever. It's up to you. Um, so. We're, we're here then, now that you decided of uh, where you want to go, then we're going back, okay, where are we now? And how are we going to get there? Okay, if we get stuck, we go back. This here, this thing called a, a meta outcome, by the way, and this is on your master practitioner test, okay? Meta means what? What? <clears throat> uh, the, the literal Greek translations, meta means about. So the meta model, which is an information gathering tool, is a language model about, a language model, okay? The meta model is about a transformation of grammar. So it's a model about a model. Now, having said that, I want to talk just a little bit, okay, about w what, what a model is. I talk about the meta model and talk about uh, what is neurolinguistic programming. NLP is a model of communication. It's not a therapy technique, it's not an educational tool, it's not a new sales thing. It's a communications model. So, purely speaking, it's a communications model. With this model, Okay, you can, can uh, uh, use this model as a template to, to superimpose over groups or individuals. And with this template, you can gather information and create uh, successes. So within the model, there are, are many models. Now, a model is something that, that you have created okay, based on uh, observations. And through this model that you have created based on observations, you can predict something that happens in the future. So a model is used to predict things. If you develop an engineering model to build the Sydney Bridge, hopefully you can predict that the thing's not going to fall down, right? So that's what models are all about, is they're used to predict things in the future. This communications model of NLP is, is, is used to predict uh, that communication styles or dynamics in the future. For example, if this model, that part, if part of this model is to observe what people do with their eyes, and I can predict that based on this model, that when you look in a particular direction, you're doing something in your brain. 
Okay? This is useful for me because in the future, wherever I am, I can use this model to predict when someone moves their eyes in a particular direction. It means something. Okay? Get that? So the model, right, is the basis of which to predict things in the future in relationship to NLP. It's a communications model, and we have micro models in that. For example, the big NLP model or the model of rapport, the model of representational system, the model of, of language. So you have smaller models within uh, the big model of NLP. Okay? So it's a cool thing that you can predict the future. So meta means about. Now this means, let's say um, uh, you have a, uh, a goal for, for coming to this course and your goal is to, let's say generally, learn communication skills. We can break that down to find out what that means. Okay. Now, the meta outcome is what's the purpose of learning communication skills? Why do you want to do that? Okay. You could say, well, I want to learn good communication skills so I can well, uh, make a lot of money or so I can be happy or so I can be less stressed or whatever. So the meta outcome is, for example, to be happy. Okay. The specific goal is communication skills, the purpose is to be happy. So all of these new communication skills are really designed to be happy. Okay? That that they are just, you know, the things, but the result is what is the most important thing or what we call the meta outcome. So what's your meta life goal? What is it that you really want to do in life or 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 to achieve? I mean, some people have if you're meditating a lot, it's to maybe or to achieve universal consciousness. So meditation is a vehicle to get to the meta outcome of higher consciousness. By the way, NLP and what you're going through right now, it is a, a process to evolve your brain. We really are in the business of evolving your brain because your brain will evolve. It's going to, and you will understand things and do things at the end of these uh, next two weeks that you didn't imagine that you could, you know, or you're going to under, you know, things about you know, little pieces of information that go on in your brain, uh, things about memory, about motivation, about beliefs. It's all about making a better brain, in a sense, evolving it. Have you heard of the idea of um, super learning? Or uh, how about accelerated learning? Anybody ever heard that? Mm -hmm. Do you know there's no such thing as, as faster learning. Did you know that? You don't actually learn to use your brain faster. You just learn to use your brain better. It, we, it's just that when you learn faster, you just make fewer mistakes. That's all. We're all here with the same brain. Some of us learn faster than others. It doesn't mean that you're a super learner. It just means that, that your brain ecology is, is more refined than someone else's. So someone else may have just a bunch of blooming, bubbling confusion like a, a one-year-old would have in there. And uh, you know, other, other ones go, yeah, I got it. You go, geez, how'd you do that? Right? It's just because you know, your brain has, you know, it's, it's got a, a faster way to get there, a bigger highway. So learning NLP uh, is all about thinking about thinking in NLP. There was someone who wrote a book that title, by the way. Uh, I didn't think the book was particularly interesting, but I thought the title says it all. Thinking about thinking in NLP. Once you get this NLP map installed in your brain, everything is like a six lane freeway, okay? Mm -hmm. It just goes shoo. You're gonna learn better, you're gonna learn faster. Life is gonna be more colorful, more resonant, more solid. Everything becomes interesting. I mean, everything, it's just it's, it's fascinating, that cool, all right? And you will learn better and learn faster, I guarantee you.